What's crack a lacking? This is long Joable. And we're playing some more Sims. When we last left off. Oh crap. Um, when we last left off, Betty had traveled to downtown and she was trying to make a friend because Betty doesn't have many friends and doesn't even have a husband. So, if you were paying attention during the last video when I wasn't talking, um, you noticed that Betty isn't getting along with this guy. Yeah, okay, uh, there's not really ask how he is again. But, ooh, he's having, yeah, he's not getting along with this guy. Straight away, they seem to be not liking each other. And it seems like this guy wants to do something fun. So he can go off and he can do something fun. And I'm going to talk to Joshua, who seems to be wearing some kind of space outfit. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't Betty get along with anyone? And I've said this about three or four times, but it's because... Oh! Okay! I think we've come to an epiphany. We've come... The game has realized that... During the period that I've been playing this game, Betty had no interests. And suddenly, Betty has interests. And this is amazing because now Betty can talk about stuff. Yes. Betty is now finally able to converse with people. Betty can have relationships with people. And Jack Wine, will you go off and have fun? You just ditched us to say that you want to have fun and now you're going to do something fun. Ooh, I like music. Yeah, music my life. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like music too. Oh, do you like floppy disks? Oh, I love floppy disks. I like how they go on computers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, floppy disks. Yeah. Oh, computers just in general. Computers in general tickle my fancy. Computers? Yeah, computers. Okay. Oh, don't flirt when I'm... Uh, talk quick before he goes off and does something. Jaquine, stop browsing. At least buy something. I don't know. Uh, Towny sims or sims that you don't control like these. They never buy anything, they just hang around. Oh, here's someone interesting. This is Miss Crumplebottom. Miss Crumplebottom is an NPC, a non-playable character, who just hangs around. If you ever... Um, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna make them talk some more before Joshua or... Before Joshua or Betty become bored of each other. Okay, um, so if you ever come across Miss Crumplebottom... Don't, yeah, the only place you'll ever come across her is on the, you know, the downtown area. She's going off to the bathroom or something. But she does nothing. She, she, you can't talk to her. You can't have a relationship with her. You can't do anything. Unless you're on a date. And it, while you're on a date, just say it's going well. It's a good night. You're having a good time. And you start getting into it. And you start flirting and you start kissing on the lot. And you're kissing in public. You're just kissing out in the street. Miss Crumplebottom will come up to you and she'll complain. Saying that it's indecent. Which is completely true. That is... It's a very reasonable thing. But the way that Miss Crumplebottom goes about it is just... It's not on. And if I could now, I just... All those years of Miss Crumplebottom ruining my Sims' lives. <sighs> if only I could get back... Get back at her. Okay, so now that... That's pretty good, Betty Joshua Towney. Joshua Towney is now Betty's somewhat friend. Now my my job here at the moment is to crap. Uh, yeah, my job here at the moment is to really just get get people get people for Betty to talk to. So I've got to introduce myself to a couple of Sims. And the reason I'm doing this is so while Betty is at home, she can call pe these people on the phone. Well, maybe not Jack Wine, because they really did not get along. Okay. So, just going to introduce myself to Leela. I'm just going to try and up Betty's social. While you're on a community lot, or like anywhere in the hot date area. Yeah, community lot is probably better. Uh, you can't... Yeah, I have, yeah I, I have a habit while playing The Sims that I like to pause things. Yeah, I always like to pause the game. Just to get an idea of the situation. And then... Yeah, I'll, I'll resume the game. But, like, you see people who just forever leave um, leave the game playing. I don't know, I just never really got into that. I, 
I always like to pause the game. And you, you'll be able to notice it. If you watched any of the episodes so far, you'll notice that I pause... Uh, yeah, I pause the game before I make my Sims do anything. So really, because um, Betty is talking to people now, her social's going up, which is what we want. Or oh, Mortimer. Mortimer would be a nice person to greet. Yeah. So I'm really just trying to uh, get Betty to know people right now. And right now, I have no idea how long this video has been so far, so really I'm just going to be guessing. Yeah, okay, so I won't bother talking to Mortimer. Flabio? No, Fabio. Flabio, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so... Ooh, the police. Ooh, the fez. Okay, so other things on community lots that you can do. Um, you can buy clothes. You can buy other types of clothes. You can buy flowers. You can buy flowers. You can buy... Uh, yeah, see, I just paused the game again. You can buy uh, gifts. You can buy magazines or games, I believe. And you can buy small animals. Oh, you can go over there. Now, when you when the Unleash expansion pack came out, you it gave you the ability to buy actual pets. So, take for example these. Ah, go away. Uh, these fish. And these are m more realistic fish. Because you, do, you have to feed them on a regular basis, you have to clean out the tank and stuff. But what you have here is the old fashioned Sims 1. Yeah, it came, the Sims 1 fish. These fish were available to buy from the, the first expansion pack. No, when you get the game. Yeah, pause again. Yeah, there should be just a montage of me pausing it. But they're available from. If you have no expansion packs, you're still able to buy it. But this came with an expansion pack. But what's so great about the, these fish is you never have to clean them. You never have to. You don't have to feed them on a regular basis. They just don't die. And that's amazing. Wouldn't you just love to have fish that sh you didn't have to feed? Shad. Yeah, go on, Betty. You get to know people. You slut. Jeez, this person is just in a state of shock ever since you talked to Betty. And you can get to know Chad. Oh no, Chad is a NPC as well. Janitor. Yeah, that's one thing that I never understood. They just have female janitors on the lot. It just, I don't know. It just seems very sexist. Now she's talking to Gunter God, I believe. Yeah, Gunter God is Mortimer God's father. And it's about the only father... It's the only grandfather in the game, I'd say. You get to know people, come on. Yeah, so it's Gunter... It's like the only kind of... Um, yeah, she's going to have to wait to... Oh, whoa, she looks weird. She's going to have to wait till that person finishes eating. Yeah, so... I think that's about enough, so... Betty, I think it's about time to go home. But it's the only father-son... It's the only grandfather... Uh, grandfather, son, and... The only longest, it's the longest relationship. Oh god, it's the longest family tree in The Sims, there. In the original Sims, there's no other kind of family trees except for this one. That took so long to say. Hey, Papa Dipperboo. Come on, Snella. Oh, I love this image. Um, yeah. Now you can sit beside Miss Corn Bottle while you wait. Uh, you usually have to wait a bit for a taxi like any normal person. Uh, why am I looking at the female sims while I'm playing as... Yeah, you get to know her for Bob. Um, I'm looking at the female sims while I'm playing as Betty. Like, whenever I see a, a female sim, I'm like, Ooh, that'd be good for Betty. But then I realize, oh, Betty's a girl. Then again, Betty might be a bit lesbian. As you can see, I can't remember what time we left the place at, but it's now 2.19 again. So really, Betty just entered a time flux. A space in the space-time continuum where time passed by but really didn't. Bob still remains at the same stage of work as he was, hopefully. Please, Bob, get a, get a promotion. Please, 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 please. So really, Bob has not completed any work since Betty has left. Now, just watch this. Betty, right now, Betty's mood is as it was when she left. But now, just watch as she writes home. Just watch how it changes. 
Ha ha! Yes, I played The Sims a lot. I played The Sims a lot. Okay, so you can clean that up. And you can get some more food. Go ahead. God, these guys are forever making food. It would be a smart idea to invest in an actual cooker. Because as you know, the better equipment that you buy, the faster it will put up your sims mood. So really actually having an actual cooker actually will help um, will help Bob and Betty more than any microwave. Because seriously, that's not putting up their hunger at all. They seriously have to have two meals before before the full now you can serve lunch at uh, no no don't serve no don't serve don't serve don't serve ah uh, too late uh, too late oh no it didn't cost any money okay have a quick lunch I like how it's when you're on, on your own it's only have a quick lunch but then it's serve Bob you didn't get the f promotion Hell, Bob, you're in a good mood. It's, it's this room outside. Okay, Bob, it's time to clean this place up a bit. You shoo her, and then she wants to be rubbed. No. I really have no idea what time it is, so I'm gonna have to end this in a minute. Bob and Betty, Bob and Betty, clean up. Whoa, that really affected Betty's bladder. Yeast infection? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't even know oh, why I said that. How's the room doing? Whoa! The room has just shot up. I don't even have to clean up now. I don't, well, clean up by that. I mean, I don't have to. No, you're not being robbed. I don't even have to spend anything. No, oh, you're not being robbed. Oh, crap, Bella. Hmm. How funny would it be if... Whoa, okay. Greeting Bella took priority over shooing a cat, okay. Which is true. You're going to say hello to a person before you shoo a cat. Okay. Yeah, now... Oh, no. No, that means... Okay, does Bob have a personality now? No. So, as you saw before Betty Betty now has a personality and the only logical reason I can think of that is going to the, the big city made her realize what she was interested in okay so Bob you can just tell Bella to say goodbye yeah so going to the big city made her realize that she actually was interested in things Bob on the other hand no so I think the only way oh whoa okay how how can you lose relationship from waving goodbye to a person? Bob, how would you turn that bad? Oh no, don't turn it off the TV, watch it. So, the only the only way that I think Bob's ever going to have a personality... Betty, Betty, you're supposed to be gone to bed. Sleep in bed. Um, yeah, the only way that I think Bob's ever going to have a personality is if he uh, travels, to the, travels downtown. Why didn't... Why didn't she go to bed before? Okay, she tried to get into that one. Okay. So, I think this is about time. I've played long enough for this session. So, really, I'm going to end it off here. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, in the next edition, Bob and Betty will... Either Bob or Betty will get a promotion, and Betty will start making friends. I have some ideas for future relationships for both of them because there's no way I'm going to get both of them together. Well, maybe I will be, a I'll be able to know because Betty has a personality, but still Bob doesn't. Okay, but for now, this has been Long Joyable, and bye.